The recent advancements of AI, generative AI in particular, over the last year have significantly impacted the development of where deep fakes are and how they're impacting corporations, governments, elections around the world and there are significant implications for the security industry in general. Um, and they, these can be anything from chatbots, they can be voice, they can be text, they can be smishing, they can even be um, uh, your standard phishing emails where these uh, uh, deep fakes are, are, are providing pretty convincing attacks against unsuspecting individuals. I think even in the last week, we've seen there's a tool called Sora from OpenAI. Right now it's, it's limited in who can access Sora, but it's a um, text to video converter. You type in a few lines, and for anybody who hasn't looked at it, you will get a pretty dang convincing vi one minute video um, that looks quite real. Microsoft has released a study with OpenAI that has specifically illustrated that the Russians, the North Koreans, the Chinese, the Iranians are leveraging generative AI tools for things like deep fakes, for phishing campaigns, for getting around existing controls. Just this last fall, Slovakia, there was a general election in Slovakia and before the election, the candidate, who by the way was kind of the favorite to the West, a um, voice cam, a voice uh, audio file was released that showed him saying how he had set up the election for himself and also was going to increase the price of beer in Slovakia. Um, that candidate actually lost and he lost to a candidate that was pro-Russia. There's a purported um, issue that happened in Hong Kong where $25 million was uh, moved out of a company. And what that was, was a deep fake Zoom call. Um, again, this purported, there hasn't been validated, but there was $25 million that was lost by a company um, from a purported uh, deep fake uh, AI driven uh, incident in Hong Kong. There's many practical steps that individuals and organizations can take to protect themselves from AI-driven deepfakes and similar attacks. Um, some of these are very traditional. The traditional Zero Trust Network, for instance, um, multi-factor authentication. And multi-factor authentication, not just at your own company or organization, but at an individual level in, in accounts that you have, whether they're social media, insurance, banking, take advantage of all of the opportunity to do multi-factor authentication. There are other things like just the same, same training that you've done historically for phishing attacks, but you're gonna to wanna to expand that. Other things that you wanna think about, it could include you know, uh, security tech from AI driven, such as liveness detection. Um, or cryptographically signing your own media and, or only accepting media that's been cryptographically signed. There's a lot of work going on right now within this field and, and just in, this la in the last week, one of them, Microsoft and OpenAI did release a report that showed that at least five nation states are active, actively been using ChatGPT that include Russia, PRC, Iran, North Korea, on top of that, in the Munich Security Conference last week, the largest 20 tech companies in the world signed an agreement where there's seven themes that they've uh, all signed up to combat deep fakes. And theirs is specifically for the upcoming elections around the globe, but all of those are really applicable, whether it's an election or just day-to-day -day operations.